Radio's greatest hits of today and yesterday. Where you hear radio the way it used to be. It's all right here on aircheck.com. Gasoline. New Hess Super Detergent Premium 93 Octane. Driving tougher and driving harder. Hess is the driving force. CBS FM Sports. The U.S. Dream Team rolled to its fifth straight victory. 122-81 over Spain. The U.S. picked up eight medals in other sports, including four golds. Mets and David Cohn beat the Cubs 4-2. Yankees lost to the Blue Jays 7-6. In upstate, Cooperstown, Tom Seaver ushered into baseball's Hall of Fame. All the sports coming up with Phil Pepe, 101 weather, partly sunny, breezy, chance of a late day thunder shower. Highs today, mid 80s. Tonight, a few scattered thunder showers around lows near 70. Tuesday, cloudy with scattered showers, mid 80s. Wednesday, partly sunny, breezy, and cooler. The highs near 80. Right now, it's 69 degrees. I'm Deborah Wetzel, CBS FM. <laughs> It is. Coming up now, in fact. Sure. It's out big on Saturday and Sunday, too. Walker Brothers on CBS FM 101.1 Monday morning. Welcome back. Hey, you look good. Got some rays over the weekend. 24 minutes to 7, CBS FM. Harry Harrison. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. You know, Harry Harrison show, CBS FM radio. John Sebastian. It went to number one back in 1976. You heard it on your number one music station in New York, CBS FM. Good morning, Brooklyn. It's 21 minutes, 21 minutes to 7 o'clock, 639. We have our coffee percolating here Monday morning. And following our party songs, Weekend 101, we have another good day here. Every brand new day should be unwrapped like a precious gift today. Some sunshine, breezy. Then late in the day, chance of a thunder shower with a high in the mid-80s. Tonight, a few scattered thunder showers, a low near 70. Right now, a little bit of sun peeking through there and 69 degrees. 69 degrees this morning on CBS FM. Roosevelt Island, good morning. A reminder, Roosevelt Island Tramway shut down until, uh, what is it, Monday the 10th. Uh, maintenance over there. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, well, let's get into the traffic with, uh, for uh, Lori Jordan. Here's Kathy Michelle now in the CBS FM Traffic Watch. All right, Harry. Thanks a lot. First of all, at the outbound Lincoln, we now have about a 10 to 15 minute delay. All the lanes were temporarily closed just a minute ago because of an accident. It's now been cleared on the inbound side. Give yourself a 5 to 10 minute wait there. George Washington Bridge, pretty quiet uh, both ways into and out of the city at the inbound upper deck of the 59th Street Bridge. It's pretty slow across the span. That's due to a disabled vehicle vehicle in the right lane and it should be cleared soon. Now in central New Jersey southbound on the Garden State Parkway we have a very um, serious accident approaching exit 136 and that's causing some heavy delays on both the northbound and the southbound side. In Queens westbound on the Grand Central Parkway it's now heavy around 108 uh, 68th Street. All the lanes are closed due to a tractor trailer mishap. Westbound on the LIE it's pretty slow right now from the Clearview to Casino Boulevard and then we have some heavy delays around Queens Boulevard and the BQE from a disabled vehicle on the shoulder. And that track work in Brooklyn's been cleared up on the D-line, back to normal between Atlantic Avenue and Prospect Park. I'm Kathy Michella. That's the CBS FM Traffic Watch. Yeah. Morning sports and weather coming right up with Harry Harrison. It's 19 minutes to 7. CBS FM. Sherelle, you're on, ladies. But of course I will. The Sherelles on CBS FM on Monday morning. Monday morning, another number one song. All right. On your number one music station, CBS FM. Oh, yes, it's 16 minutes now to 7 o'clock, 644. We're going to have a pretty good Monday. 69 degrees right now. Sun is on the way up. And Mr. G is on the way with more on the weather. Right now, Phil Pappy in sports. A big weekend of sports. And here's Phil on Monday morning on CBS FM. Now, Harry, the U.S. Dream Team was at it again yesterday. A 41-point romp over the host country, Spain, with Charles Barkley leading the way with 20 points. Six other U.S. players scored in double figures as the Dream Team completed the first round with a perfect 5 for 5 and an average margin of victory of 46 points. The Dream Team now moves on to the medal round. 
Also at the Olympics, a gold medal for Jackie Joyner Kersey, her second consecutive Olympic heptathlon title. Eight medals in all for the U.S. yesterday, four of them gold. The Yankees got out of the Sky Dome in Toronto yesterday, and not a moment too soon. The Yanks were beaten by the Jays for the ninth straight time, and they were swept in this three-game series. The sweep completed with a 7-6 victory yesterday. John Habian, unable to preserve a two-run lead, took the loss. The Orioles kept pace with the Jays, a 2-1 victory over the Red Sox, as Ben McDonald won his 11th. The Twins beat the Brewers 5 to nothing to remain on top in the AL West with the second place Oakland A's beating Kansas City 8 to 4 with six runs in the sixth. In the National League, another strong effort by David Cohn, who won his 13th with help from his friend John Franco, who collected save number 12. But bad news from the Mets, who put Bobby Bonilla and Howard Johnson on a disabled list. Bobby Bo with a fractured right rib, Hojo with a fractured hand. The Pirates made it four straight over the Cardinals, a two-to-one win. Montreal stayed in the, on the Pirates' heels with a one-to-nothing shutout of Philadelphia. In the West, the Braves jumped into the lead by swe sweeping the Giants in a doubleheader, three-to-nothing and eight-to-five, while the Reds were bounced by the Astros, five-to-four. Tom Seaver did it all in his 20-year Major League career, but nothing topped yesterday in Cooper ta Cooperstown, where Tom Terrific joined Raleigh Fingers, Hal Neuhauser, and AL umpire Bill McGowan as members of the Hall of Fame. And here's how Seaver viewed the honor. Where can you possibly start to say the words that will express what has taken place in a man's life over a 20-year period and beyond? For me, it's the, it is the last beautiful flower in the perfect bouquet. Tom Seaver, newest member of the Hall of Fame. The Yanks are back home tonight against the Indians. The Mets are not scheduled. More sports at 7.15 and tonight at 6.30 with the Pep Talk. I'm Phil Pepe and that's CBS FM Sports. Thanks, Phil. Mr. G's weather coming up. It's 14 minutes to 7 o'clock. Good morning to the Goldman family over there in West Orange, New Jersey. Hello, Arlene. Good to hear from you. The Columbia High School in Maple, New Jersey, class of 66. Huh? Good morning. Here's one for the Maplewood Post Office. Fred and everybody over there. On CBS FM 101.1. Good morning, guys. All right. Our good guy buddies at Capri's. Thank you, Nick, Frankie, Mike, and Tommy. All right. Back by a special request here this morning on CBS FM. <laughs> the Morse Code of Love. Is Mr. G there? We're a little early. It's about 10 minutes to 7 o'clock. 10 minutes to 7. Well, I'm sure he's anxious to get on the radio here Monday morning and tell us about the weather. Good morning, Earth. Yes. Oh, not like yes. I have a lot to do, you know. I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm right here. That. All right. All right. <laughs> 69 degrees in the Midtown area, big guy. Humidity is very high. Clouds are moving in. There are a couple of spots on the radar, but they're not real in terms of rain. What is real is leading edge of a cold front will approach in the next 24 hours. First, we'll have some. The clouds are winning out. It'll be breezy and warm. There'll be showers late this afternoon. That's the front. We're going to be in the mid-80s. And showers on and off tonight. Maybe a thunder shower right around 70 degrees. Now, for tomorrow, variably cloudy. Showers, thunderstorms as the cold front drags on by. We're going to be in the low to mid-80s. And for Wednesday and Thursday, real good. Good. Breezy and cool, partly sunny skies. Temperatures both days will be right around 80 degrees. Some more good news. No real warm air in sight. This very cool summer of 1992 will continue through the midweek period and the end of the week. And Harry, even more new good news. The tropics are very, very quiet. I mean, there's nothing from the coast of Africa to the Caribbean in terms of a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane. So basically, frontal passage after frontal passage, cold front after cold front, and this crisp, cool summer of 1992 continues. 67 degrees in Islip. East Fishkill got the cool number at 60. White Plains, 67. LaGuardia, 69. Hey, you asked me about New Hampshire. That's right. Engineer Al just said, hey... Irv, what about New Hampshire? We will oh, tell, Al. All right, Irv, take, uh, yeah, all right. Tell him, will you? Are you have yeah. you got it now? What was that? Oh. Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Well, Very... he gets upset because all right, uh, all right. you always forget us. When is he leaving? Hmm. Let's see, he's going to be here today and he's going to be here tomorrow. Okay. For... He'll be leaving tomorrow. All right, variably cloudy, scattered showers in New Hampshire. That'll be the deal on Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, mm -hmm. temperatures at night will be in the 40s up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the daytime hours, temperatures will be in the 70s. So it sounds good for New Hampshire. Remember last year when Engineer Al showed us pictures of him going to sleep with a leaf over him, just covering him very nicely? Babies only learn to walk once. 
69 degrees. <laughs> they do? Oh, oh really? Hello. Huh? hello. Babies hello. only learn to walk once. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I got the message. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? I don't know. Uh, oh. I got my training wheels on. You want to go to New Hampshire too, dear? All right. Okay. We'll 69 we'll degrees and the little red bus leaves at 8 at CBS <laughs> FM. I said George. It's a summer of incredible entertainment at Waterloo Music Festival. Georgia. Coming Sunday, August 16th, it's Ray Charles featuring the Ray Letts and the Ray Charles Orchestra. I made up my mind. Also appearing with Ray Charles, very special guest, John Hammond. I'll have to take my things and go. Then coming August 22nd, it's the Royal New York Doo-Wop Show. And Friday night, August 28th. It's Ringo Starr and his all-star band featuring Burton Cummings and back with the all-star band Joe Walsh plus the incredible Todd Rundgren. See Timothy B. Schmidt and Dave Edmonds plus Nils Lofgren and more all performing their greatest hits with Ringo Starr. Tickets for all these shows available now at the Waterloo box office, Ticketmaster locations, or Ticketmaster charge by phone. The summer comes alive at Waterloo Music Festival. Waterloo Village, exit 25 off Route 80. And it's seven minutes now to seven o'clock on C. CBS FM. Now, dear, what were you saying about the baby walking? Babies only learn to walk once. There'll only be one summer vacation, 1992. There are just some things you can't afford not to take lots of pictures of. Maybe that's why, for affordable quality and photo finishing, like everything else, so many people come to Kmart, the place that understands the more pictures you take, the more there is to look back on. Kmart, as long as you're coming, remember to bring the film. Good morning, don't forget. Oh, of course, bring the film to Kmart now and join CBS FM weekends at 5 p.m. for the Top 20 Oldies Countdown. Sponsored in part by IKEA. Top 20 Oldies Countdown, right here with Bobby J on CBS FM 101.1. Chicago, the beginnings back in the early 70s, 1971. Good morning, you're on CBS FM. Drivers in New Jersey, Southbound Garden State Parkway, watch it. Expect a backup nearing exit 136 in Cranford. Serious multi-vehicle accident. More traffic in a few minutes. And the news with Deborah Wetzel in three minutes from now at 7 o'clock. Monday, Sam Cook and Lou Rawls with Harry on CBS FM. All right, guys. Yeah. Harry Harrison. Thousands spent Sunday night hoping and praying for a visit from the Virgin Mary. 69 degrees clear at WCBS FM. The 7 o'clock news sponsored by Chase Manhattan Bank. Of the thousands who congregated at Joseph Janiskevich's Marlboro home, only one person saw the vintage, the vision, Janiskevich himself, who said she appeared to him with Joseph. Police are calling their efforts to control traffic there, Operation Mary, and the mayor of Marlboro says if this continues, he'll ask the state for help. 7,000 turned out last night. The next vision could be Labor Day. Showing no signs of quitting, President Bush goes south to two states that backed him in 88, Georgia and Florida. Bill Clinton says his lead in the polls means only one thing, an unrelenting Republican assault. What you see now is not what's going to happen for the next 90 days. I expect this to be a very tough campaign, to be a very competitive one, uh, to be a difficult one. Clinton will be on the campaign trail later this week on his very successful bus tour. The streets of South Africa's cities are nearly empty today. Seven million black workers have stayed home, calling for an end to white rule. At least four people have been killed, shot by police. New Jersey is rooting for Joetta Clark today. The daughter of controversial school principal Joe Clark is in the final of the 800 meters in Barcelona. Joetta was eliminated in the semifinals in Seoul four years ago. Pumping iron behind bars, the hotel queen, Leona Helmsley. Fellow inmates say she's in very good shape doing her weightlifting routines. Helmsley's attorneys had argued in court she was too frail to survive a prison term. Now with the CBS FM Traffic Watch, Kathy Mashilla. Well, in Queens westbound on the Grand Central Parkway, the delays are building around 168th Street. There's some construction, so use caution there. It's easing a little bit at the LIE. An earlier disabled tractor trailer at Chase Stadium has now been cleared eastbound.
westbound on the Grand Central. That's looking good around Utopia Parkway. Westbound on the LIE in Queens. It's a slow go from the Clearview to the Van Wyck. At the inbound upper deck of the 59th Street Bridge, we still have some delays across the span from an earlier disabled vehicle. Pretty quiet at the inbound Queens Midtown Tunnel, as does the uh, as goes the Bronx Manhattan bound Triborough. That's quiet too. Holland Tunnel and Lincoln Tunnel, a 10 minute wait into the city. A 10 minute delay coming out of the city at the Lincoln Tunnel. And in New Jersey, southbound on the Garden State, we've still got a serious accident approaching exit 136. Alternate side parking rules are in effect today. I'm Kathy Michella. That's the CBS FM Traffic Watch. 101 Sports and Weather Next, CBS FM News Time, 702. I was spending the day rollerblading with my son Henry, standing on top of this big hill when it hit me. These things don't have brakes. I am too old for this. I've, I've got responsibilities. And it's time I got smarter about things, like my money. So I went to Chase Manhattan. They gave me all sorts of options that suited my financial situation. See, with Chase Better Banking, my CDs and investments are linked together, along with my checking account. I can even pay my bills by phone, and it's all summed up in one monthly statement. At Chase, I don't just get no-fee checking. I get choices. Speaking of choices, I wonder if I can talk Henry into checkers. Maybe backgammon. Now until September 30th, you can get a six-month free trial of Better Banking regardless of your balance. For details, call 1-800-AT-CHASE and profit from the experience. Minimum balances apply up to six months. Member FDIC. CBS FM Sports. The Mets beat the Cubs 4-2, but suffered a serious blow with the loss of Bobby Bonilla because of a broken rib and Howard Johnson out with a fractured hand. Yankees beaten by the Blue Jays 7-6 to complete a three-game sweep. Tom Seaver formally inducted into the Hall of Fame yesterday at Cooperstown. And eight medals, four of them gold for the U.S. at Barcelona. All the sports coming up with Phil Pepe. 101 weather. Partly sunny, breezy, a late-day thundershower possible. High in the mid-80s. Tonight, scattered thunder showers, low near 70. Tomorrow, scattered showers, high in the mid-80s. Wednesday, partly sunny, breezy, and cooler. Highs near 80 right now. It's 69 degrees. I'm Deborah Wetzel, CBS FM. Monday morning. Oh, what happened to the weekend? Leslie Gore on CBS FM at six minutes after seven o'clock. Harry Harrison, the morning mayor. We'll talk weather, traffic, and sports, and play all your favorite oldies on CBS FM. Talk to me. Little Willie John. Talking to you on CBS FM 101.1, the station you sing along to. Go ahead. We'd like to hear you sing along with us on CBS FM. Uh, nine minutes. Nine minutes after seven o'clock. Harry Harrison, the morning mayor. Back to work here after our party songs, Weekend 101. Hope you and the family made some uh, great memories. Every brand new day should be unwrapped like a precious gift. We're getting some sun now, Mr. G says, today, Monday, August 3rd. Partly sunny, breezy, chance of a late-day thundershower with a high in the mid-80s. Tonight, a few scattered thundershowers about. Low near 70 right now, getting brighter and 69 degrees in midtown. Oh, no, it hit 70? Okay. Popped up there at 70 degrees this morning already on CBS FM. <laughs> and for Laura Jordan, Kathy Michelle are popping in with a CBS FM traffic watch. All right, Harry, thanks a lot. Well, checking the Lower East River crossings right now, it's pretty slow on the inbound Williamsburg Bridge around mid-span at the inbound lower deck of the Manhattan. That's better than the upper deck at the inbound Brooklyn Bridge. It's building on the Manhattan side and starting at 10 today. One lane will be closed for some construction, so that should cause some slowdowns. Checking Queens and turning to the northbound Cross Island Parkway. We do have some slowdowns now from Long Island Expressway to Bayside Marina, a disabled vehicle being worked on in the shoulder. Westbound on the LIE, there don't seem to be too many problems. Westbound on the Grand Central Parkway delays around 168th Street. If you're um, moving down on the Van Wyck southbound, that's uh, pretty much of a good ride right now. Alternate side parking rules are in effect, and the Roosevelt Island tram is out of service until August 10th, so try using the B or the D lines instead. I'm Kathy Michella. That's the CBS 
KSFM Traffic Watch. In these tough times, chances are you aren't seeing too many bonuses. We at International Trucks think that's a shame. So we're offering you a great bonus on a great truck. Make your best deal on any international medium truck during our big bonus days and get a credit of $1,000 good for free parts and service on any truck you own. Or get $2,000 in credit on an international heavy truck. Just buy and take delivery from dealer stock between July 1st and September 30th. Call 1-800-44-TRUCK or see your international dealer for details. Keep on trucking. Yes, Phil Peppy Talks Monday Morning Sports coming right up. He just got back from Cooperstown. He'll tell you about it on CBS FM. And we'll check the birthday book, too, this morning with Harry Harrison. 11 minutes after 7, Bronx. You want time? Oh, you're going to fly, huh? All right, the cost of fall travel fell. Have you heard? Because this fall, American Airlines can save you up to 30% off their lowest plan ahead fare. That's right, you save up to 30% on travel to the more than 240 cities in the continental U.S., served by American and American Eagle. Now, these savings are good on coach tickets purchased now through August 31st, or travel anytime between September 14th and December 14th, 1992. Just make your reservations and purchase your tickets at least 14 days in advance. Seats are limited, subject to availability, though. Other restrictions may apply. For information or reservation, I want you to call your travel agent or talk to American Airlines in person at 1-800-433-7300. Got that? Savings up to 30% on fall travel. A good deal. Another example of how American Airlines is bringing value back to air travel. Now, the number to call, 1-800-433-7300. 1-800-433-7300, American Airlines. Harry Harrison, remember, CBS FM. Our March sentiments exactly, I only want to be with you. Thanks for waking up with us on CBS FM, Monday morning. With the Bay City Rollers, the boys from Scotland. Remember, they had that hit back in 1976. It's a 716, 716 in the morning. Rockland County, I've got your song coming right up. And it's uh, kind of cloudy now. I thought we had some sun earlier. Uh, 70 degrees right now. More on the weather after that beautiful weekend we have with Mr. G. Right now, it's sports time and Phil Puffy on CBS FM. And if the Yankees never see Toronto again, it won't be soon enough to suit them. The Yanks marched over the border Friday filled with high hopes and returned yesterday battered and bloodied. The first place Blue Jays beat the Yanks 7-6 and completed a sweep of the three-game series. The Jays have won nine straight from the Yanks. Toronto kept its lead of four and a half games ahead of the Orioles, who squeezed out a 2-1 victory over the Red Sox as Ben McDonald won his 11th. The Twins beat the Brewers 5 to nothing for Scott Erickson's eighth win, but the A's stayed a game and a half behind by beating the Royals 8-4 with a six-run sixth inning. Detroit took Cleveland, Chicago beat Seattle, and Texas topped California. The Mets won a game over the Cubs 4-2, but came up losers when both Bobby Bonilla and Howard Johnson were placed on a disabled list. Hojo suffered a fractured wrist last week in Philly, but it was only detected yesterday. Bonilla tried to make a diving catch yesterday, hit the ground hard, and uh, ended up with a cracked rib. Another Met, Brett Saberhagen, undergoes an MRI today to get a reading on a painful right forefinger. He, too, could be sidelined. The Mets needed a lift yesterday and got it from David Cohn, who won his 13th, and John Franco, who came back from the DL and earned his 12th save. The Pirates and Expos both won. The Bucks over the Cards 2-1 for a four-game sweep. The Expos a 1-0 winner over the Phillies to remain two games out. In the West, the Reds were beaten by the Astros 5-4 and fell out of first place as the Braves swept the pair from the Giants. And Harry, I've been to about six or seven induction ceremonies at Cooperstown, but yesterday's was special. Maybe that's because one of New York's own, Tom Siva, was the centerpiece of the day. Tom was gracious in his acceptance speech, generous in sharing his special day with many important people in his life, and lavish in his praise of those who helped him, supported him, and played with him. Siva got especially emotional when he talked of two people who were not there, but whom he wished were. One was Gil Hodges, his manager with the Mets, the other was his mother, who passed away about five years ago. Siva mentioned his... Well, there you go, and that's pretty much all we have for part one of this two-part air check. You notice a couple of dropouts toward the end of that. Uh, Phil Pepe, uh, sports report, uh, couldn't be helped, I guess. But uh, we'll see if the dropouts continue in part two. So stay tuned, as they say in the radio business. Come back to air checks 
and come back to our YouTube channel as part two will post very soon. Radio's greatest hits. We can hear radio the way it used to be. Ladies and gentlemen, the beat goes on. Airchecks.com.